My name is John Benson. I currently live in Jamestown, Rhode Island, although I was born and brought up in Newport, Rhode Island. I am now retired, but for 40 years of my life, I was a commercial stone carver making gravestones, inscriptions, low relief for gravestones, and lettering on buildings. My father did not intend to be a stone carver. He was an immensely gifted artist, but he did not have a way to make a living. The same thing happened to me. I never intended to be a stone carver. I graduated from the Rhode Island School of Design with a degree in sculpture and a wife and a baby. And when I got out of college, I said, gosh, what am I going to do? I have to support my wife. And I said, I'll work here for a while, and then I'll go back to making sculpture. Forty years later, I got out the back door. Nick, my son, who is now running the shop and doing perfectly beautiful work, turned out to be a very skillful craftsman with a good eye and a good pair of hands, and he was off and running. He now has a wife and children. Here in our shop, we continue to use the traditional methods of carving letters by hand, which we have first drawn by hand. We do not use stencils or templates. We are, in a sense, monumental calligraphers, drawing the letters as required for the situation in which they will appear and carving them in the most optimum way for the material. It's nice to do something that's justified by history, but it's changing very fast now. The new kind of craft, the craft is produced by machine, the art is produced out of the mind, and this is one of the most dramatic changes that has occurred. I think it's the most dramatic thing that has ever done, been done to the nature of the arts and humanity. And I have no bloody idea of where it's going, and I'm reasonably comfortable in believing that I won't have to know because I'm 71 years old. A lot of the hobbyist work that's done these days, the fine woodworking, the amateur potters, all of these people, uh, they are buoyed up, restored, and uh, endowed with confidence by participating in a traditional craft process. Why would anybody make a guitar when there are people in Spain that can make the most beautiful guitars in the world, ones you will never be able to make? Because making a guitar just makes you feel good.